everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you a tropical update for today, September 23rd, 2011. We're taking a look at three active storms. We got a tropical storm Ophelia out here in the Atlantic, Hurricane Hillary, which is a Category 4 now in the Eastern Pacific, and we even have a tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But first things first, I'm going to talk about Hurricane Hillary, which is a Category 4 major hurricane. Now, it has continued to move west, which is not going to affect Mexico at this time. And it looks like Mexico is out of the clear on this one. In fact, the tropical storm watches and warnings have been removed from Mexico. Any warnings that were out there have been removed. And it also looks like the only thing they may have to deal with is possible storm surge from this hurricane. So taking a look at most models, half of the models taken out into the water, which is good news. And the other half take them somewhat into the Gulf of California, which we'll have to watch that real close because even the National Hurricane Center says that there might be a slight turn or curve into the Gulf of California. We'll have to watch that real close, guys, for any updates from the National Hurricane Center. Looking at Tropical Storm Ophelia out here in the Atlantic, it looks like it's actually diminishing in size due to the environmental conditions out there, guys. So it looks like due to the environmental conditions, it will be dropping into a tropical depression. And even so, that is good news because it looks like it's going to still continue to move west northwest and, and a couple of days change its path to a west northwest path but it's going to still stay further north of most of these islands it looks like so according to most of these uh, spaghetti models which is very good news we'll continue to keep an eye on that but we still cannot rule out any landfall in these areas we'll just continue to keep you posted even if it is a depression it could bring a lot of showers and thunderstorms looking at tropical wave that's moving off the coast of Africa has about a 10 percent chance guys of developing now that we've gone over the information let's take a look at the path of the storm and the updates the latest advisories we're taking a look at the latest advisory for looks like hurricane Hillary and according to the National Hurricane Center latest advisory shows as of 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time September 23rd advisory number 10 Max winds are 125 miles, 145 miles per hour, or 125 knots. And uh, again, it's a Category 4 major hurricane. Minimum central pressure is 944 millibars, located at 16.1 degrees north and 102.5 degrees west. If you're tracking it with us here at MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com, and of course, the movement is west at 8 knots or 9 miles per, per hour. So again, if you're tracking it with us, take, take a look at it at Mr. Hurricane Tracker right here. These maps, our paths are live, including the radar maps. Everything is live on Mr. Hurricane Tracker. Now taking a look at Tropical Storm Ophelia, and I apologize for my voice, guys. I'm not feeling too well, but taking a look at Tropical Storm Ophelia, the latest update is 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time today, the 23rd. Taking a look at that, shows minimum uh, central pressure is 1,006 millibars located at 14.6 degrees north 52.6 degrees west movement at 14 knots or 16 miles per hour max winds are at 35 knots or 40 miles per hour and this is advisory number 11 so again i don't think this storm is going to have any major effect on any landfall at this time now going back to hurricane hillary real quick if you take a look at this possible turn to go from uh, california it looks like this is a big cone of uncertainty guys because most of those models are taking it out to the water and the other half are taking it out here to the Gulf of California now some models are real strong saying it might go to the Gulf of California so we'll have to watch that like I said very close taking a look at these radars guys don't forget we're always tracking the storms coming off the coast of Africa and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment because we got a tropical wave here that's coming off the coast and if you click on the latitude longitude lines here you can track anything that is coming off the coast of Africa and see where it's heading now again of course we're taking a look at that because it looks like there is some possible development in fact in a few days it might even change to about a 40 to 50 percent because it looks very well defined and will continue to keep you posted now we're taking a look at uh, tropical storm Ophelia out here in the Atlantic we'll click on the latitude longitude lines and as you see there is tropical storm Ophelia losing its strength and not developing very much it looks like it's trying to redevelop but as of right now guys like I said the environmental conditions out there are unfavorable for any development at this time so going down into the information here on the latest advisories if you take a look at that we got a tropical wave that we just saw moving off the coast of Africa 
and it shows a broad area of low pressure system located about 400 miles south south east of the Cape Verde Islands is producing widespread cloudiness and scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Upper level winds are conducive for some slow development of this system over the next couple of days. A low 10% chance is possible of this storm becoming a tropical depression. So we're going to have to keep watch on that. But right now, like I said, conditions in this area are a little bit unfavorable for conditions, but we'll have to continue to keep you posted because it looks like it is a large storm and we'll have to watch it. So again, guys, stay tuned for Mr. Hurricane Tracker latest updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.